Understanding the phrase, have blinders on a deep dive into idiomatic English. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English phrase, have blinders on. This phrase is a great example of how colorful and vivid the English language can be. Let's dive in and understand what it means, how to use it, and its origins. Have blinders on is an idiomatic expression used to describe a situation where a person is focusing only on a single aspect of something, ignoring the broader perspective. It's like having a narrow viewpoint, not seeing the whole picture. We often use this phrase when someone is so concentrated on one thing that they are unaware of other important factors or events happening around them. The phrase originates from the use of blinders in horse tack. Blinders, also known as blinkers, are small flaps attached to a horse's bridle to prevent it from seeing to the side or rear, thereby limiting its field of vision. This helps the horse stay focused on what is in front of it without getting distracted. In a metaphorical sense, when people have blinders on, they are like horses with a limited view, unable to see the full context of their situation. Let's see how this phrase is used in everyday conversations. 1. In the workplace, our manager has blinders on when it comes to the morale of the team, he only focuses on productivity. 2. In personal life, she had blinders on about her relationship, refusing to see the obvious problems. 3. In politics, politicians often have blinders on when it comes to issues outside their own agenda. Understanding synonyms can help you better grasp the concept. Here are a few. Tunnel vision. Wearing rose-colored glasses. Narrow-minded. I hope this explanation helps you understand the phrase, have blinders on. It's a useful expression that can add color to your conversations, helping you describe situations where someone's focus is too narrow. Remember, language is not just about words, but the vivid images they create. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.